So this is actually his brain, not his nose. And it's a birth defect known as an encephalocele. Here, there's actually a defect in the skull with brain matter protruding out through that opening. It can happen in several different parts of the skull, but in North America, the most common location is behind the head. As you can tell in this case, it's coming out from the front of the face, just above the nose. Now, this type of thing happens during fetal development. It's when an embryological structure called the neural tube does not close the way that it should. One of the reasons that something like this can happen is due to a deficiency of the B vitamin known as folate. If there's a decreased amount of folate during a specific portion of development, it can lead to this type of thing. And that's why if you are pregnant or planning on becoming pregnant, it's very important to make sure you get on prenatal vitamins and make sure your doctor knows. And the CDC actually recommends that women take 400 micrograms of folic acid every day if they've ever had a birth that was affected by a neural tube defect. And during pregnancy, that number should go up to 4,000 if you've ever had this type of defect before. It is possible to diagnose this condition before birth. One of the most common ways to diagnose this condition is is with a fetal ultrasound that's typically done during the first and second trimesters. Depending on the severity of this, it could potentially be fatal, and there are surgical treatments for this. The parents would need to have a long discussion with the pediatric neurosurgeon to discuss the risks, benefits, and drawbacks. But it's always important to talk to your doctor before pregnancy to make sure that your child has the highest chances possible of developing correctly.